Hi Divers, welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to give you a quick insight into AquaVision 2.0, the new color correction feature for underwater footage shot on the Insta360 ONE R coming up. Welcome to my new series, The Two Minute Tuesday. I saw this format first on Peter McKinnon's channel and found it to be very useful for some of the things I'd like to make, cause, yeah, I think some things can be said in just two minutes. And if you watch Peter McKinnon's Two Minute Tuesday, well, I guess it never lasted just two minutes, but it reminds you to keep things short and significant. So I'll try this out. Please. Tell me in the comments how you like the idea and subscribe to my channel and never miss another awesome episode. If you watch my channel for some time, you may have seen my comparison of underwater action cameras, link up in the corner. I liked the Insta360 ONE R very much, however, it was inferior to the Paralens Vaquita in terms of color correction for underwater footage. There was a software solution through the Insta360 app or desktop software called AquaVision. Unfortunately, AquaVision left greenish footage almost just brownish and it was only available to use with the 4K mod, so 360 video could not be corrected with AquaVision at all. With the last update, Insta360 introduced AquaVision 2.0 that's supposed to yield better underwater colors and can be used in 360 video. I selected some clips to compare it side by side and see if it has improved. All the footage I show here was not color corrected except for the AquaVision color correction, but I did not work on the colors at all. The first clip was shot in around 20 meters of depth. You see, the original footage was extremely green. There was no artificial light used, and in a nutrient-rich lake like this, it's normal that everything is green. Now, let's have a look at the AquaVision and AquaVision 2.0 correction. Both look like shot in sepia mode, but I cannot say that AquaVision 2.0 makes somehow better images. To me, both clips look really simple. Now this clip is in shallower water, around 5 meters. So here is more natural light available, the original still greenish. The AquaVision corrected ones are much better. If you compare it to the Vaquita footage, which is not so nice here because of the narrow angle the Vaquita has, but you can see that the light beam appears to be red, while in AquaVision it's white. So the Vaquita adds virtually more red to the image. The muscles in the foreground look hence more natural, while the light beam looks too red. Sure, more ambient light in a shallower depth means more colors anyway, so it seems the AquaVision algorithm works better, and this is not surprising, in shallower water. But I think both versions work equally. A real advantage of AquaVision 2.0, in my opinion, is the ability to correct 360 video. So let's have a look. Everything green as always and brown in the corrected image. Now going through the window into that container, you can see the camera cranking up ISO here. And in the corrected version, you can really see how the algorithm changes the colors of the image. The colors appear more natural on the corrected clip, I think. Now going up, and no wonder, the colors are better in shallower water in both clips. However, I feel the AquaVision 2.0 is doing really well here, and the colors look more natural. In this situation, the background in the uncorrected image appears to be too green, while it is better balanced in the corrected version. So before I sum this up, Please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you already took some value from this video. So what can I say after this first and very short look into AquaVision 2.0? With the 4K mod I don't see a difference. The color correction seems to be the exact same in both versions. I complained about the fact that AquaVision did not work with 360 video some time ago and contacted the Insta360 support and maybe others did the same. 
That's something I really like with Insta360. They really listen to their customers and now they introduced AquaVision for the 360 model. Although it does not work as perfectly as the depth-dependent color correction Paralens cameras use, it still makes my color correction of 360 underwater footage much simpler. In the end, and please hear me out Insta360, I'd wish for something similar in the Insta360 ONE R2. Anyway, the update makes this great camera even better and I'm excited to see what the next things are they come up. Please tell me in the comments if you have any experience with the AquaVision 2.0 or how you color correct underwater footage. Subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. See you there.